all very important things, keeping, you know, your mental health in check, which can be hard to do during the winter. You know, there's seasonal depression and whatnot. Yep. Not seeing the sun as much, that's hard. And we won't see the sun as much today, so I'm I worried. Know. <laughs> I know, we'll get a little bit of it tomorrow morning, just a little bit. Okay. But you gotta like run out there and take a walk and soak it up and enjoy soak it. Soak it all in <laughs> while we can. <laughs> exactly, so in the season of winter, we either have the cloudy, snowy, warmer days, or like yesterday, look at those temperatures, or we have the sunny, cold days. That's it. That's the basics of it for you guys. Look at this. So yesterday we got a little bit of snowfall. Temperatures soared well above average into those mid to upper 30s, near 40 degrees. This late in the season, crazy stuff. 5.9 inches of snowfall accumulated into Antigo, 4 inches into Shawano, and Appleton picked up 2.7 inches. Here for us now making our total here in the Green Bay, 19.4 inches of snowfall, well above our normal of just 14.7. And last year we barely had anything. So this morning, waking up to those dark skies, sunrise at 728. Temperatures in the teens. It is 16 degrees outside into Appleton this morning. Plus, we have those winds on top of it, right? So temperature change within 24 hours, about 10 to 20 degrees different there. As they're waking up into the single digits into the north woods. Low 20s into Manitowoc, Sheboygan, and Fond du Lac, while those winds move out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not as gusty as yesterday, but with these temperatures, it's making it feel like six degrees into Green Bay. It feels like negative five into Antigo. So you're going to want to grab those gloves, that hat, that jacket, all that stuff you left home yesterday because it was nice out. You need it again today. Even though it's not going to be as breezy, not until tomorrow night. That's another system headed our way. It's a very active weather pattern. It's keeping me on my toes here, right? <laughs> Something to do for the holidays. Keep my mind off all of that. We're looking at those temperatures feeling like the low 20s all day long with that winter weather advisory extending throughout the entire state of Wisconsin. All of us here in the Northeast Wisconsin, we are going to see some snowfall late afternoon. So right now it is building into central Illinois, down into St. Louis area, just north of it. Some heavy rain storms, sleet accumulating there, and then also some heavy snowfall as well. Up to the north, lighter snow, but still moving in towards western Wisconsin. And here for us, we're starting to get those clouds out ahead of this, headed our way. So two low pressure systems. One's going to split to the south, one's going to split to the north. Either way, that means the entire state of Wisconsin getting some snowfall here for us. Our is mainly going to come from that northerly one. Now this will start to push in from the southwest around 1 p.m. this afternoon, filling into the Fox Valley by 2 to 3, and then continuing up into the northern Door County, UP area around 4. Now this whole thing will leave us through the overnight hours around 2 a.m., but the thing is we have a chance for freezing drizzle at that point. So when you wake up tomorrow morning with 2 to 5 inches of snowfall on the ground or 1 to 2 by the lake, plus some freezing drizzle on top of it, it is going to be a very icy, slick, and slippery commute. So please Please give yourself extra time tomorrow morning. Another shot of some snow moves by tomorrow. Who's going to be seeing that? Well, first of all, some sunshine until about lunch. Then those clouds arrive. Temperatures only hitting the 20s. There's that snow after 8 p.m. Fonds du Lac, Sheboygan, um, also Manitowoc area. You could see a little accumulation from that. Plus some lake effect snow could happen. You can see those winds kicking up right off the lake there. You could see some extra snow totals for you as well as we go into tomorrow night. Doesn't stop there. How about New Year's Day ring in 2022 with some snowfall? This system keeps shifting its track up to the north to the south. Currently it's shifting further to the south, looking to hit towards Milwaukee and Chicago harder, but we're still going to get in on that. Above average precipitation too as we cruise into next year. High temperatures today right where they should be into those low 30s to upper 20s and tonight only falling a little bit into those 20s here for us and tomorrow slightly cooler into the mid to upper 20s. Then we are going to see that system head our way as we push in to the new year and behind that after we get that snowfall on the first on Saturday New Year's Day then that cold air spills in behind it with high temperatures struggling to get to the teens look at those overnight lows in the single digits you know we're gonna have some wind chill warnings things like that once that system starts to depart so burr. bringing in the new year with some snow snow and cold real winter here we go it's exactly what you wanted Brittany I know I'm so excited <laughs> thank you you're welcome coming up